I want you to imagine waiting in line for a roller coaster. Now, I've been on some pretty fun roller coasters in the past. Here locally, all of our friends visit Worlds of Fun. Anyways, if you've been to an amusement park, you probably know how they work. You stand in a line of like 50 people who are waiting for the ride to finish so that they can hop on and ride the roller coaster. The best ones that usually have the longer lines, and sometimes it's like 100 degrees out and you're getting a sunburn, and imagine if you're standing in that line and some worker comes up to you and goes, hey, you want some free lemonade? Since it's 100 degrees outside, you immediately tell him yes, but secretly, you wonder why he's giving out free lemonade. So you ask him. He says, we're starting a lemonade stand down the road, and we figure giving out free lemonade at this busy place is the cheapest and easiest way to advertise. Now you understand why he's giving away free lemonade as you sip away your delicious drink while the line grows shorter. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain the topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, we are going to explain what an airdrop in crypto is and how you can use them to get free tokens. Let's dig in. What is an airdrop? Airdrops are literally when a developer of a crypto platform gives out free tokens or coins. You may be wondering what the purpose of this is? Well, it's essentially a form of advertising and to spread the use of the coin. In short, developers want people to see that the coin has been added to their account for free and then hopefully try out their coin. Sometimes, however, these airdrops are used to reward early adopters of an application or a protocol. In fact, Uniswap did just this. If you don't know what Uniswap is, we actually have an entire video explaining what it is and how it works. But in short, they are a platform that allows you to exchange any Ethereum token for any other Ethereum token. Right now, they are the largest decentralized exchange by total value locked in their liquidity pool. Anyways, back in early 2018, Uniswap launched and allowed users to start swapping their tokens. Now, you should know that Uniswap was actually a centralized application in the beginning. They had a headquarters and they payroll developers and stuff like that. Well, being in the crypto space, they wanted a way for their company to become more decentralized. To do this, they created a Uniswap token that was specifically used to vote on certain changes to the platform. This way, the token holders, which are actually the investors, could vote on protocol changes instead of having one person make all the decisions. But why in the world would they sell their tokens? What if nobody wanted their token? This is where the airdrop came in. Uniswap gave every wallet address that interacted with their application around 400 Uni tokens. At the time, this was worth around $1,000. Imagine getting a free $1,000 for trying out an application. For those that held their token, they are now worth around $8,000. To understand how they did this, you need to know some technicalities. First, Uniswap is an application run by smart contracts. Secondly, these smart contracts are out there for anyone to look at. So to do the airdrop, they literally just made a list of every wallet that interacted with their smart contract and then just sent them free Uni tokens. And one more thing, this is actually called a retroactive airdrop because Uniswap looked back in the past and made a list of wallets instead of using their current list of wallets that are using their exchange. They did this on purpose. They only wanted to reward the early adopters and the testers of the platform. Now, a lot of times this happens with governance tokens. These platforms want to give the community a way to vote on future changes in a fair way. In other words, they need to reward early adopters and not random users. Another form of an airdrop is very similar to how an email lead magnet works. In the marketing world, email lead magnets are a simple idea where you give something out for free in turn for a customer's email. For example, we could give you access to our Discord and all you would have to do is give us your email. Long term, we might want your email so that we can advertise our future paid products to you. This is the reason that some companies might airdrop you a bit of their token for your email address. In reality though, we don't want your email. And our Discord is free. Well, it's at least free right now. Check the link in the description below for our Discord invite. Moving on, I want to talk a little bit about something called an airdrop calendar. So if you want to participate in some airdrops, there is actually a website that is dedicated to helping you find them with a calendar of certain coins and tokens that have upcoming airdrops. 
They also explain a little bit about what you need to do to get that airdrop. Sometimes you need to use the platform, sometimes you need to send out a tweet, it really depends on their marketing plan. Anyways, that website is airdrops.io and has been used by quite a few airdrop enthusiasts in the past. Now we do want to say you should definitely research any project or any token that you plan on investing in or uh, getting for free. Another website is CoinMarketCal, which we haven't actually mentioned on the channel yet, but this tool is very helpful. You can sort the projects by airdrops, but they actually have other interesting dates, such as when certain coins will go live, when they start allowing staking and major updates. This is a very useful tool for anyone wanting to do some research on new coins or even developed coins. So now that airdrops have become more popular, they're starting to become associated with bad advertising and scams. For example, it is really easy to send the last 10,000 active Polygon wallets, some of a free whiteboardcrypto.com token that I could create. So that way when someone checks their wallet, they say, hmm, I have some free tokens. And hopefully they would get curious, find our website, and then get hooked. However, airdrops that are specifically used for advertising are pretty much telemarketers in the crypto world. Nobody wants your free tokens, and they aren't going to do any research about what you're promoting. Do you remember the lemonade example I used at the beginning of this video? This would be very similar, except instead of giving out free lemonade, you're giving out chewing gum that's already been chewed. Nobody wants it. So now that you know what airdrops are, and mostly how they work, you should leave a like on this video and definitely consider subscribing if you aren't already. Because we, and by we I mean YouTube, may retroactively send you some free notifications for our future videos that are quite similar to this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. We really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, as always, we hope to see you in the next one.